Okay, so get your your um, base album that you built, and we're gonna be making the accordion pocket that sits inside the back inside pocket. So first we need to make this all so there's no rough bumps all the way around. So when we build the pocket, it's, this area is nice and smooth. So just get a piece that will cover this back side and adhere this down so this area will be nice and smooth. And next you are going to cut a piece of black cardstock 10 and 3 eighths inches in this direction. So uh, 10 and 3 eighths inches in this direction and seven inches tall. Then you will put it in your scoreboard with the 10 and 3 eighths inches on top and you are going to score it on the left side one third. So it's gonna be one, three, one, two, three, score, one, two, three, that's at three quarters, and then one, two, three. That's one and one eighth right there. So just score those, one third, one third, one third. So one, two, three, score, one, two, three, score, one, two, three, score. And then you're going to come on this side and you're going to start, it's like it, um, just count in three from this side, one, two, three, score one two three score that's right there and one two three score oops one one two three score right there so that one's at nine and one fourth this is between nine and one half and nine and three quarters and this one is at basically at 10. So we got that. Oh, and then I forgot. You need to put this in with the seven inch side on top and you're going to score it at basically what I did. Let's see, I want it on this side. You're going to score it at six and one eighth. Six and one eighth right here. Six and one eighth. So if it's easier for you, score it one third, one third, one third, one, one, two, three, score, one, two, three, score, one, two, three, score. And if you want, just flip it around and do the same thing on this side. One, two, three, score, one, two, three, score, one, two, three, score. So then you are going to fold at that first inside the bumpy line. You're going to fold that first score line, fold it, burnish, and then remember we're making an accordion. Go the opposite direction. Get that straight. Make sure I fold it that straight. I'm a little off, but fold that one in. And then the last one, fold that one in. So you have your little accordion right there. Do the same thing on the other side. That's going to be the width of your pocket. And now we're going to do the bottom score line. We're going to fold that in. So 
So now you're going to cut this. You're going to cut this out um, just where you have, here you have this score line. Oops. Here you have this score line from the bottom edge right here, right there. And then you have this score line right here. So you're going to cut this rectangle out right here. And then we'll probably end up mitering it anyway, but for now we're just going to cut that square out. Oops. Can't quite get it. Same thing on this side. just kind of clean up my edges like you can see this edge is not I didn't do that very well so I'm going to miter this in a little bit like that same thing on this side I'm going to miter this in so I clean up that edge right there get that cleaned up just a little bit And what you're going to do is put score tape at the bottom. So once you have everything cut and mitered, go ahead and adhere the bottom flap um, to the, the bottom edge of your album and keep it centered um, from side to side. Do not adhere these side flaps yet. You're just going to do the bottom flap first. Put that in and once you get it in, put some black construction tape so it's nice and smooth here. So whatever you put in the pocket slides right over here. So do that. So you're, this is what you're going to have. Of course it's hard to see black on black, but there's this. So now we're going to add the top flap. So the top flap is going to be the same width as this. Oh, so I got a piece of paper. It's going to be the same width. Oops. As this. So you measure yours. Let's see. Mine measures 8 and 1 eighth. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another piece of black cardstock. And I, if you have it, use 80 pound black cardstock um, just because the flap is going to be moving a lot. And I like a little bit of reinforcement. Or if you don't have 80 pound, use your black construction tape right over the, the fold mark. And that will reinforce that flap also. So you're going to measure it this width and it's going to be... Um, all the way to the edge of the album up here plus an extra one inch so I think mine is like um, oh no 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 it's coming down I think it's coming down a couple of inches let's see let me measure this one it is hanging over the pocket by two and an eighth inch so it's gonna be two and an eighth inch in this direction plus you're going to have an inch of um, flap back in here so the width is going to be whatever you measure here two and what did I say two and two and one eighth inch plus an inch so the B three and one eighth inch so let me get that cut So this is 80 pound cardstock. I cut it eight and one eighth inches wide, which is the size of my pocket here, by three and one eighth inches tall. And I'm going to put it in my scoreboard. And I'm going to score it at the bottom. Well, I'm gonna score it at one inch right here. And this is gonna be my flap. 
one inch. I just like an extra wide flap. So fold and burnish this. Get this out of the way. So this, you are going to adhere it to the top edge of the album up here and it is going to be so it overlaps your envelope. So you guys get this, right? So you are adhering this flap to the top and it's going to be centered so it completely aligns with the edge of the envelope. So I need to move, move this over a little bit. So it's going to be about like that. So you want the edge, you want the edge of this flap and the envelope to be a comp straight line down like this. And you want it aligned with the back. Just put in tape to cover this whole back side Put that in, get it lined up with your pocket below it, and then I'll be right back. So I went ahead and attached my flap up here, my closure flap, and attached this one down here. So I attached it with my score tape down here, put my black construction tape down here, and then I centered this so it lies straight you can't see it. It lies straight with the edge of the envelope. This flap is lying straight up and down here. And obviously on the same, the opposite side, it's lining straight up and down here. Okay, so those are in because I figured I don't need, I can add my, my designer paper to the inside while these flaps are in. And then what I did is I got my corner puncher and I rounded the corners with the large, size large. And this is 80 pound cardstock. So I'm going to put this up here and punch it. And on this side, where is So now those are rounded. So you have the basic construction of your accordion envelope. So now what you can do is add your designer paper in the back. So it's going to cover the whole back side. The designer paper I used was this from the Patterns and Solids. It has a zebra print on the back. And I've already cut off part of it here for something else. So you are going to start with it on this edge. And I believe it has a zebra pattern like this at the edge. That's going to go over here. It doesn't really matter, but that's what I did. And it's going to go all the way across. And you're going to cut the piece to fit inside this whole area from here to here. And I'll just show you my mine. So basically it starts with the zebra paper here and then you can see it going across like this and it goes all the way across and it ends with this checkered paper. So it, this is, where are we? Like this. So where is it this way? It's this way. I don't know which way it is. is this paper some way blah, blah, like that like that so as long as you have this paper in it doesn't really matter um, but that's what I did I used the zebra here because I wanted it to match the zebra stripe that I put here so zebra paper here it starts and it goes all the way across and it covers this whole back side 
Then what you do is you get the rest of the paper and you cover the inside flap with the same pattern, just cutting off the parts that you don't need and it just makes sure it lines up so it looks like a continuous flow of the same paper. Got it? Do not add this paper in yet. You can cut it, but do not add it in because we're going to put a button through here and we need to cover up where you have the button. So do not put this paper in. You can cut it, but don't put it on yet, okay? So the, the top um, closure flap is in, this is in. Before we go any further, the bottom um, part of where the cording hinge is, I want you to miter this. So just miter it in like this on both sides. So you're just going to get this and cut it right there so it's angled up. It's already rubbing against the bottom. So I'm just going to get my scissors and I'm going to cut that. Bring that up over here. Sorry, I'm out of the field of vision. I'm bringing this up and I'm just going to cut this. like that. Not that you can see it, but it's just mitered um, right there. Same thing on this side. Bring this and cut. So now they're both mitered, so they won't be rubbing against it. So that's done. Now you're going to make your buttons. So what you do is you get your one inch punch and if you have 80 pound um, craft card stock, you just cut three, just cut three circles. So you're gonna cut three circles. If you only have 65 pound card stock, cut four. And then you're gonna glue them together. You're just gonna use whatever glue you have, glue them together so they're nice and thick. Then you're going to go, this is my 8x8 eight eight collection. I don't have the exact same ones. I'm just going to punch out with my 3 quarter of an inch punch. I'm going to punch out this circle right here. Right. Gosh, why can't I get in the camera? There. And I'm going to cut out this one. It's not the one I used, but I'm just going to cut this one out right here. I used a, a green one. So there. And what you're going to do is then glue those on top of your, your buttons. So let me ink them first and then put glue them onto your buttons. So when you cut these out, you're going to, this is one inch and this is three quarters of an inch. There's still a lot of space around there. So you can leave it like that. Or what I did is I found some other button um, brown circles. There's plenty of them um, throughout the collection. I just cut, cut around here to make um, give it a little edging here and here's another one that you can cut out to give it a little bit more edging so you can see here on my buttons you can see the red edging on this one here's the three quarter inch one here's the three quarter inch one and then here's the one beneath it that I just cut um, around just to fill in this area a little bit more just because I thought that was too much space between the three quarters and the one inch button. So that's, that's what I did. So I'm just going to affix this three quarter inch button on my, my one inch button, but just pretend I filled it in with 
the other round um, circle. Where's my other one I cut out? Oops, I know I had it here somewhere. And there's my other butt. I just had one kind of green one and one kind of red one. And then you just ink the edges of your button real well. You guys know how to do this. Just figure out what color you want to put over your buttons. And then you just get your pokey tool, find the center, which should be easy because it's in the center of that circle. Get your pokey tool, find the center, get your pokey tool, push that through. Now what you can do, you can go ahead and fix, let me zoom out a little bit. You can go ahead and fix this, this top paper in right here. You can go ahead and fix this. This is just this from the eight by eight. So it's basically fitting perfectly in your little envelope right here. So it should fit. You may need to trim it a little bit, but not much. So that's the fixed here. And then what I did, as you can see where I cut it, I put it all the way to the bottom and basically cut it right at the edge of here. And this is the top part of that paper right there. You see that? So that is there. This is affixed from the bottom. You see it going up and then it is cut right at that edge right there, the brown. So cut that. You can go ahead and fix that paper on top of the envelope. Make sure your envelope is still not affixed down. And then you can cut this top part out and go ahead and put it on the top of your envelope here. So you can have paper on the top of here and you can have paper on the top of here. Got it? Once you have that done, then you're going to be able to figure out where you want your buttons. So the buttons are going to be centered, so you find the center of this thing, which is, let's see, two, three, four, So it's about right here. So that's going to be my center and I want it down about here. I'm going to put a, a pencil mark here. Remember you have your designer paper on now. You have already punched your hole. Just mark it over the designer paper. Same thing here. You have your designer paper on. You want this just a little bit down from the edge of the pocket. I can go in a little bit. So you just want this centered with this hole and just a little bit down from the pocket, like what is that? Um, third of an, of an inch, quarter of an inch right there. Put your mark right here. And then you make holes. So you're gonna make holes in that designer paper. You're going to adhere your your circle punch down, pull out the brads, spread out the wings, and then put some black construction tape to cover the wings. Same thing on the back of this. You're gonna use your pokey tool, poke a hole, 
put your bre mini brad in, open up the wings on the back side, and put your um, black construction tape over this area so you're covering up that back part and it's nice and smooth back in here. So far so good. Then all you have to do is put your designer paper up in here. And that's going to cover the back side of the, the brad here. You've got your brad here. You can go ahead and get your tape, put the tape on the sides of your accordion pocket here. And you just pull the tape and affix it down. Make sure you get that accordion in so it's nice and straight. And then you can add your tie. You're going to add the tie to this top brad, tie it up, and then bring it down and loop it around the second one. You've probably seen me do this thousands of times, so hopefully you know how to do that part. Um, if not, there's plenty of videos, but it's real easy. Once you got your brads in, you just get your, your, your thread tied around this upper brad. This is the one you want tied to, and then you're gonna loop it around this bottom brad. So this is what it's going to look like. Here's your top circle with the brad, bottom circle with the brad. You've tied your thread. This is wax thread, three-ply wax thread. You've tied it around here, and now you just loop it around. And what I did down here, I just used a, my tiny three-eighths of an inch circle punch and just put my wax thread in between these two pieces and inked it up so I have that little circle at the bottom like that. So hopefully that wasn't, I know that sounded confusing, but it's not that confusing. Basically, this is the pocket. This, pa this page is the pocket. That's it, you're cutting it here. This goes on the top of the pocket. This goes on the bottom of the pocket. You made your circle, circle, um, circles. You've covered the, the brad with this paper up here, which is the same brad paper that you use down here to line the inside. And I think that's it for this, this um, accordion envelope.